Here are the most recent deaths in the national news. Who Died Today America is your daily source where you can find any obituary in America and beyond. Gerald Castillo, recognized for his influential roles on General Hospital and Saved by the Bell, died at home in Houston at the age of 90. His passing was announced by his wife of 36 years, Dana Quinn Castillo. Introduced to the screen on The Jeffersons in 1978, Castillo later thrived in the roles of Major Slater, Mario Lopez's on-screen father on Saved by the Bell, and Judge Davis Wagner on General Hospital. He also made significant appearances in M.A.S.H., Dallas and Hill Street Blues, amongst other TV series, and feature films such as Through Naked Eyes and State of Emergency. Beyond acting, Castillo's charisma and insight extended to stage direction, providing invaluable guidance and support to actors developing their characters. This dual contribution to acting and stage directing has left a profound impact on the television and theatre industry. Castillo's lasting legacy is underpinned by a career spanning over three decades, during which he enriched American television drama and stage performances with his unwavering talent. Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, passed away at the age of 83 after a long illness on May 24th. As an undeniable force in the music industry, Turner first made her mark in a volatile partnership, only to blossom into one of the defining pop icons of the 1980s as a solo artist, with her album Private Dancer cementing her status. Despite personal adversities, Turner continually broke boundaries, her electrifying performances inspiring many, including Mick Jagger, and her influence stretching beyond music to shape the image of women in rock and roll. Turner's contributions weren't just contained within her own discography, she also impacted the cinematic world, featuring in movies like Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and left her mark in the form of memoirs, a biopic, a jukebox musical, and a critically acclaimed documentary. Her indomitable spirit, resilience, and unique talent have left an enduring impact on the music industry, inspiring generations of musicians and fans alike. Her legacy will be remembered as one of empowerment and transformation, turning hardships into a platform for personal and creative strength. Bill Lee, a renowned bassist and composer, has left a legacy in the music industry with his passing at age 94 due to natural causes on May 24, 2023. Best known for scoring the early films of his son Spike Lee such as She's Gotta Have It, School Days, Do the Right Thing, and Mo Better Blues, he dedicated over six decades to his music, contributing to thousands of live performances and over 250 record albums. A collaborator with music legends like Duke Ellington and Bob Dylan, Lee's innovative spirit saw him leading an acclaimed ensemble of bassists and establishing the New York Bass Violin Choir. His commitment to his craft, refusal to compromise his artistic integrity, and notable contributions to jazz and folk music underscore a lasting impact that echoes in the annals of the music industry, enriching it with his distinctive blend of creativity and passion. Sheldon Maurice Reynolds, a distinguished American guitarist, singer, and songwriter, died at age 63 on May 23, 2023. Known for his exceptional talent, Reynolds was a cherished member of bands like Sun, The Commodores, and Earth, Wind & Fire. He left his mark on numerous albums, notably contributing to EWF's Touch the World, Heritage, and In the Name of Love, which earned him a Grammy nomination in 1994. Beyond his band affiliations, Reynolds also played on several notable solo albums, including Morris White's self-titled album and Philip Bailey's Family Affair. His contributions to music, marked by a blend of R and B and pop, have secured his enduring legacy in the industry. Jean-Louis Murat, a renowned French singer and songwriter, passed away due to phlebitis at age 71 on May 25, 2023. Known as the Grump of the Bourons, Murat was a strong critic of the mainstream music industry, which he believed lacked vitality and diversity. His contributions to the music world include iconic songs like If I Should Miss You, which shot him to fame in 1989. He had a reputation for being an outsider and an angry rocker, unafraid to challenge industry norms and criticize his contemporaries. Murat's music, infused with his passionate beliefs, left a significant imprint on the French music scene. His legacy lives on as a defiant voice that constantly pushed for a more dynamic and inclusive music industry. Kenneth Anger, an instrumental figure in experimental filmmaking, passed away at the age of 96 on May 11, 2023, in Yucca Valley, California. Renowned for his avant-garde approach, 
Anger masterfully navigated the intersection between underground art and mass culture, influencing modern visual and pop culture from movies to music videos. His most notable work, Scorpio Rising, broke boundaries by blending sound and image in a powerful fusion, laying the groundwork for the emergence of music videos. Beyond his impact on filmmaking, Anger penned Hollywood Babylon, a tell-all book that sent shockwaves through Tinseltown with its tales of scandals and rumors. A seminal figure who maintained his outsider status, Anger leaves a legacy of audacious creativity and indelible influence on the landscape of visual culture. The world of doom metal was saddened by the death of Mark Adams, bassist and co-founder of St. Vitus, who passed away peacefully in his sleep at age 64 on May 23, 2023. With his humble beginnings in the band Tyrant in 1978, later becoming St. Vitus in 1981, Adams was an enduring force in the group until 2016. As one of the pioneers of the riff-oriented doom metal genre, he significantly shaped the music industry and left an indelible impact. Even in his later years while battling Parkinson's disease, his dedication to the craft remained unwavering. Mark's loss is deeply felt, but his musical legacy continues to inspire generations of metal musicians. Daniel Herobin, a celebrated Slovak actor and musician, tragically passed away due to a heart attack on May 24, 2023, at the age of 43. Renowned as a versatile talent, Herobin shone in both comedic and tragic roles, earning him accolades including two Dosky Awards and one OTO. Among his notable works were television series Horna Dolna, Druha Sanka, Pumpa, and films like Unos and Svina. His final movie, The Man Who Stood in the Way, in which he starred as Alexander Dubček, was released a day after his demise. Herobin's legacy will undoubtedly live on in Slovakia's performing arts scene, through his exceptional work and the inspiration he provided for future talents. Gio Aquino Lanza Tomasi, a noted Italian musicologist and academic, passed away on May 10, 2023, at 89. Known for his contributions to various cultural institutions such as the Teatro di San Carlo and Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, Lanza Tomasi was a celebrated figure in the world of music and academia. He also served as the director of the Istituto Italiano di Cultura in New York, further expanding his influence in the global cultural scene. His legacy as a scholar and a director continues to inspire the music industry, academia and beyond. Sibyl Lewitscherow, a lauded German author, died at age 69 on May 13, 2023. Lewitscherow first came into the literary scene with her novel Pong, which garnered her the Ingeborg Bachmann Prize. Known for her inventive narratives and her exceptional mastery of language, Lewitscherow penned a number of successful books, earning accolades such as the Georg Buchner Prize in 2013. She pushed the boundaries of reality with her vivid storytelling, leaving a lasting impact on contemporary German literature. Javier Alvarez Fuentes, an acclaimed Mexican composer known for his innovative style, passed away at age 67 on the 24th of May, 2023. Throughout his illustrious career, Fuentes composed distinctive works that blended various international music styles and technologies, such as Temescal and Manum, which highlighted traditional instruments in an electroacoustic setting. His compositions have been performed by renowned orchestras worldwide, including the Chicago Symphony Orchestra and the Los Angeles Philharmonic, and he also made significant contributions to film, notably composing for Guillermo del Toro's Kronos. The Pre-Ars Electronica and Isim Prize recipient's influence on music, particularly through his role in founding the musical arts department of the Escuela Superior de Arte de Yucatán, has ensured a lasting legacy within the industry. Berna Robin Barclay Som a venerated Canadian writer and editor, passed away at the age of 82 on May 7, 2023. Born in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Barclay was renowned for her role as president of the Saskatchewan Writers Guild and the Saskatchewan Book Awards, and as the founding editor of Transition, a magazine for the Saskatchewan branch of the Canadian Mental Health Association. Her compelling works, including Summer of the Hungry Pup, Crosswinds and Girl at the Window, earned numerous accolades and established her as a key figure in the Canadian literary scene. Barclay's dedication to literature and the arts, and her contributions to mental health awareness, leave a lasting impact on Saskatchewan's cultural landscape. Richard Landis, an influential American musician, singer-songwriter and music producer, died at 77 on May 16, 2023. In his impressive 40-year career, Landis enjoyed chart success 
and shared in the 1994 CMA Award for Album of the Year. A notable music producer with Capital Columbia and RCA, he worked with high-profile acts like Kenny Rogers, Neil Diamond, and Vince Gill. Landis's impact on the music industry is profound, seen in his myriad production credits and his own Nashville studio, Fool on the Hill. His legacy lives on in the enduring popularity of his contributions to country and pop music, shaping the sound of the genres for future generations. John Ernest Flood, an accomplished professional footballer, passed away at the age of 90 on the 13th of May 2023. Known for his impressive wing play, Flood spent most of his career at Southampton, making 129 appearances and scoring 29 goals between 1952 and 1958. His contribution was significant during Southampton's longest spell in Division Three, marking him as a standout player. With his passing, the world of football loses one of its elder statesmen, and his legacy will continue to inspire future generations of athletes in the industry. Majigweni Sisi, a renowned Senegalese activist, passed away on May 15, 2023 at age 71, due to undisclosed reasons. Born in Dakar, Sisi championed the rights of undocumented immigrants, becoming their spokesperson. Her impact was profound in advocating for sustainable development, particularly in Africa, where she co-founded and directed the Women's Network for Sustainable Development in Africa. She promoted women's standards of living through education, employment initiatives, and microcredit programs. Her legacy continues in her empowering work for vulnerable populations, leaving an enduring mark on the global activist landscape. The football world mourns the passing of Arsenio Iglesias, a former Real Madrid and Deportivo La Coruna manager, who died at the age of 92 after a long-term illness on May 5, 2023. A respected figure in Spanish football, Iglesias had a significant career both as a player and a coach, leading Deportivo to a Copa del Rey victory in 1995. His tenure at Real Madrid is fondly remembered as well, where he steadied a turbulent 1995-96 season, propelling the team to the Champions League quarter-finals. His imprint on the Spanish football scene, particularly Deportivo and Real Madrid, is everlasting. Thank you for watching. If you found these tributes meaningful, don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, let us know who inspired you the most.